Hi everyone, it's Ray with the education team from Spooly Do's Kit Club, and I am going to share with you some cards that I made using the November 2013 project kit. We have Christmas cards a month early, that way you can get them done. And in the kit, you get 10 cards, or card toppers, I should say. You get five of these, and five of these. These are card toppers from Hot Off the Press, and they're really cool. So I'm going to show you how to make these plain little cards into stuff like this. So I thought that the embellishing is pretty much straightforward. You can see how those were done. I try to keep it as flat as possible because I want those to fit into some envelopes. But what I will show you is how to use the water pen that comes in the kit and how to use the micas because there's a couple of different ways. Well, there's lots of different ways that you can use them, but I've used them a couple of different ways on these cards here. So to get started, I'm going to show you how I did this card. And I want to show you first the micas. For this card I decided to go full blown with the micas and just make them very concentrated so you can see that they're nice and vibrant and very shiny. So here's how I did it. Okay, I'm just going to take this piece of packaging to use as if it were a craft sheet. And what I want to do first is I have my water pen and it's filled up. And I want to make sure that I get the tip wet. And so I'll just put that on the plastic here. Sorry. And then I'm going to dip it into the micas so it looks like that. And then I will swirl it around. And if I want to make it less bright, I'll just add more water. But I really don't because I wanted this one to be really vibrant. So it's pretty much that simple. I want to add a little bit more. And then I'm just going to go in and start coloring this holly. And there's a few different ways that you can do this too. You can just make it full blown like I am or you can kind of make it a little bit gradient and just go back and fill some stuff in but I wanted it to be vibrant because I think it pairs well with this black on here and this black that's on here is a resist so whatever I put on there I could do this right here on the black and it's gonna come off so it doesn't really matter if I make any sort of a mistake the only thing I don't want to do is I don't want to get the green on this part right here because I'm actually going to use the gold that comes in the kit with that. I can always go back and add more just to show you. Get kind of close up here. As it wears down you can see that it gets lighter. It's not as vibrant. So if you wanted to you could start out dark in the middle of the leaves like that and then I'll take some of the excess green off so that mica gets all up into the brush so it's very simple just to get rid of it just by pushing on the water brush, just squeezing it a little bit. So now that's just water. And then I could go back in and now you can see that I can shade it. And that's a great way to do it too. I just didn't do that on this one. And then if I didn't like that I could just go back in and make it vibrant. Now you can't take the vibrant part off so once you put this on you cannot really get it off. Like, I'll just show you. If I clear out the water brush again or it's just water and I start putting just a drop of water on there 
once it's on, you cannot really take it off, just to show you. So what I did with this card right here is I did the same exact thing with the gold right around here, and I just made it as thick as possible. And just to show you that after it dries, you can see right here that there's some green on there on the black. It's a resist, and all you have to do is just rub it or scratch it, and it comes right off like it wasn't even there. So the other coloring that I did on here was I used a brown pin to fill in the postcard area right here, and then I used the fired brick stickles that comes in the kit, and I just really made large dots with it right here on these little black holly berries and I just made it really thick because it will dry flat for the most part. If you add a lot you'll get a lot of dimension like I did. I just make a big dollop like that. Try to make it as round as I can and it will settle itself out and then it looks like that when it dries. And the only other thing that I did on here that you might be interested in knowing is I used a piece of printer paper and I just copied off some music notes from the internet. And then this is a Heidi Swap sticker that I used from my stash. And that is the piece card. So this is just a card topper right now. All of my cards are just card toppers. I'll go back and I'll add this to a piece of card stock and fold it over and then stick it in an envelope. For my next card, my joy card, I did not want this to be white. I don't like how stark that is, so I started off with using the Glimmer Mist and Crushed Shells. Trying to get the dots on there. Ah, I'm almost out. Alright, and then I did just let this dry. Now that black is nice and clear, and I'm ready to move on. So again, I'm going to use the Magical Micas, and I'm going to use green to start out with. And, oh yeah, I'm going to use my water pen. And so again, I just make the brush wet by squeezing this, and then I'm just going to turn it around. For this card, I didn't make it so vibrant. I It looks like it is, but it's not as vibrant as those other ones. I really did just go around the edges, and then I filled it in. And right now, while it's still somewhat wet with this glimmer mist, it looks like it's kind of the same and it's blending in. But after it dries, you can see that it's much more opaque and the mist. So I did that for the rest of the ribbon. And then I moved on and I wanted to color this red and I didn't want to add the Distress Stickles which came in the kit. I already added that over here for the berries on the inside like I did with the first card that I showed you. But I still wanted these to be red. So I went through my stash and I found a Glimmer Mist that's in red velvet and it's perfect. It's a perfect vintage red color and I think it goes so well with the ribbon that comes in the kit. So what I did is I just took a paintbrush, I took the lid off of this and I really didn't even shake it up. I didn't really care about that. And I just took my paintbrush and I started painting the ornaments. And that's all the mixed media that I did on this card. And the other thing I did was just add some embellishments. I added this Joy Word, again that's Heidi Swap from my stash. And then I added some of the pearls on top of the lace. And then I actually I cut this out because it does have a black border on there. And I decided that I wanted to cut it. And then I cut a piece of red cardstock that comes in the kit on top or underneath it and then I just cut around that design and then I just used a border punch and just added some more red so it just looks like it has lots of layers and again this is just the card topper and I'll put that on a card later 
And for my last card, I wanted to do something really vintage-y. I did not want it to look like it was bright or vibrant at all, but I still wanted to use green. And so I still use the micas right here. I just used it with some glimmer mist too. So I'll show you how I did that. First off, I did not cut this card at all. I'm just leaving it exactly how it is, and then I'll just stick this on cardstock when I actually make it into a card. I started out, get that out of the way, with two different mists. I've got the Perfect Pearls and Mint and the Crushed Shells Glimmer Mist. I'm going to start with my lightest color first. Go! Oh. It's a very faint green. And then I went in with my crushed shells. And just like all of the other cards, I let this dry for a couple of minutes. And then I'll wipe off the black. So I went from white to this. Gives it that vintage color. Now I am going to go in with my magical micas again. And I want to use this Cathedral Pines Green because it comes in the kit, but I really don't want that color of green. So I'm going to change it up. And how I'm going to change it up is I'm going to add some of the Crushed Shells Glimmer Mist to the mica with the water pin too. So it's going to be a different little combination there. And I'm not so interested if I cover it all up in green. It's okay if some of that brown is still showing through. Just going for that vintage faded look here. And all I did to get that glitter on there was I used some distressed stickles. And I just put it a little dollop onto a little area and got my brush full with it. And then I just brushed over. And it makes no difference if you get some on the black. Like I said before, you can wipe it off. Alright, so just to finish explaining what I did with this card, I used a piece of paper from an old kit from a couple years ago. It's a Bow Bunny piece of paper. And then I added this green flower, which is from the main kit. And I finished up adding the holly, and the rest of this stuff is from the kit. It's the pearls and the lace, and I took those little leaves off of the roses that came in the kit just to kind of give it some more dimension. So I kind of went crazy with the pearls on here. And that's it. So I have all three of these cards and I'm just going to make the rest of the cards all the same. Well, I have three different designs, but I think you understand what I mean. I'll just kind of replicate those. And these are my first three cards made with the November 2013 kit. So be sure to go to SwirlyDews.com. We're having a blog hop right now from November 5th to 6th with lots of prizes. And be sure to check out our tutorials and all of the fabulous creations that our ladies made with the November kit. Thanks for watching.